Today I'm cooking short ribs in a beer sauce topped with bacon, baby bellows, and curly parsley. What more can you ask for? This is absolutely one of my top 10, really we're gonna say top five dead or alive, all right? Top five dead or alive dishes. This is it. You don't like parsley, you don't like mushrooms, don't leave this out. You don't like garlic, don't leave any ingredient out. Don't try to take a shortcut because you will end up with something that will be so not this dish and so not with this flavor. This dish is amazing. I promise, <laughs> I promise you, it's good. It will make your jaw drop and probably backhand your mama, your auntie, and whoever the hell ever sitting next to you. But this is the dish. If you have a Dutch oven or a combo cooker, you want to use that most definitely because it's going to keep in the moisture. Aluminum foil is good, but yeah, it, it, it always works better in the Dutch oven for the things that it's actually made for. And the one thing I like about this combo cooker is you can always take this top off and cook on top of it as well. So let this thing heat up just a little bit longer because the one thing you want to do is always sear your meat in a super hot pan. So while the pan is heating up or actually 24 hours before or the night before or a few hours before, where you want to put the salt and pepper on the short ribs and let it sit. Let the moisture kind of come out, be drawn out by the salt and let it sit for a little while and then the moisture goes back in, taking the flavor back into the meat, into the short ribs. In turn, it just goes all into the sauce. So once you get your short ribs seasoned, you want to sit them off to the side, start cutting up your parsley, cut your baby bellows in half. You want to take a whole clove of garlic and you want to cut it in half and you want to have it look like this. So when you cut it in half, you're going to want to sit it down in the combo cooker and let it cook. It's going to soften up while it's boiling and then you're going to take the garlic and you're going to kind of mush it around when you're reducing the sauce. And once you have everything kind of mushed around and the sauce is just slightly reduced, you want to pour it in a sieve. And then that's where you're gonna kind of mash the garlic around with a spoon or a label, push it through the sieve into the bowl. And that's when you come in with that really good beer sauce. The taste, I mean, literally, you cook this the way that I'm gonna show you to cook it today and it will be a fine dining restaurant experience at your dinner table. Simple. Let my pan get hot, let it smoke a little bit. Now it's time to get this process started. Yeah, it's hot. Turn your fan on. You start searing. You start searing these short ribs, it's gonna smoke a lot. So you wanna do is throw a little bit of vegetable oil in there. Not a lot, just a little bit, because remember, you're gonna be creating a sauce and you don't wanna have an oily, fatty sauce. So when we get to the point where we're kinda like finished searing the short ribs and we're about to throw the beer in there and the broth and all that stuff, you're gonna make sure you pour the fat out. Just a little bit, maybe a tablespoon, if that. Kind of spread it around. By the way, there's a 10 inch combo cooker. It's 10 inch wide, the same as a 10 inch cast iron. Gonna sit the short ribs in. That is the sound you wanna hear. The key thing to this is browning all four sides of the short ribs. You want everything to be aesthetically pleasing because if you don't brown the short ribs, you don't sear them really well, and you pull them out, you put them on the plate, it's just gonna look like you have a baked or boiled piece of meat, and that's not, who wants to eat that? So you take your garlic, you're gonna place this right here, face down in the pan because you want this area to cook. After about a minute or so of letting the garlic cook, you're gonna take the beer and we're gonna pour it in. You don't want to drown the short ribs in the beer. You want at least half of the short ribs to be above beer level, and then you're gonna let the alcohol evaporate, let it reduce to about half, then we'll put a broth in. Remember, while you're doing the cooking, you want your oven to be preheated at 350. As soon as you finish putting in the garlic, the beer, the broth, everything is seared off and it's good to go, you're gonna stick in the oven, kick back for two and a half hours. 15 minutes before it's time to pull it out, possibly 10. Go ahead and get your bacon ready, your baby bellows, 
five minutes before it's time to pull out, throw the bacon in a hot pan, the bellows, boom. Good to go, you've already got your topping and your garnish ready. When it comes out, you'll be ready to get everything going. After the beer is reduced, the broth is in there, you're gonna cover it up with the top from your combo cooker or your Dutch oven, whichever you wanna call it. That's when we're gonna put it in the oven. This thing is heavy. It's about 12 to 10 minutes before the shortest come out of the oven. So we're going to start cooking our garnish right now. Drop the bacon in. You don't want the bacon to burn, you want to cook the bellows as well. So you want to cook the bacon for maybe about 45 seconds to a minute. So once the bacon gets just a little brown, you start seeing the fat turn brown. That's when you're dropping the bellows. Don't be, don't be stingy with the bellows. Don't do that, drop them in there. You wanna toss it around, getting the bacon grease really well? You wanna sit that to the side, let it cool down just a little bit. You hear that sound? Ah, smell that bacon. That bacon does something to me. I'm, I'm, I'm a bacon addict. It's my confession. Sit that to the side, let it cool down just a little bit because you're gonna wanna place the garnish on by hand. You don't wanna take a spoon, you don't wanna take the tongs, and you don't, you don't wanna like drop it on there just any kind of way. You wanna put it on there nice and neat. So we're gonna take our bellows and we're going to place them ever so slightly on the short ribs. Drop some bacon. Put them there just right. There we go. Then we're gonna top this off with a sprinkle of parsley. Short ribs. I love short ribs. I absolutely love and adore short ribs. Look at that. You see that? The baby bellows, the curly parsley, topped with bacon and the sauce that was just made with beer and garlic and the juices from the short ribs. You, you, you can't beat this. This, this cannot be topped, okay? But, I'm about to bite into this, and I'm gonna see what it tastes like, which it should be good. Let's see if we have mushroom, a little bacon. <laughs> wow, hold oh, on. No. <laughs> Listen, the saltiness from the bacon and the beefy taste from the short ribs, the soft tenderness of the short ribs and the mushrooms and the curly parsley with this, this sauce, the beer sauce. The beer gives it a robust taste, something that, that the red wine can't do. You can't mess up short ribs. You follow my recipe, you let it sit for two and a half hours. There's not much that can go wrong unless you just cannot cook. And with this simple recipe, there's no reason why you can't. So enjoy cooking because I'm always gonna enjoy eating. I'm gonna get back to my short ribs.